Hi! Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rachel. If you're not new here, thank you for sticking it out for this very long break that I just took in between videos. Um, if you've not seen or been to my channel before, I did post quite a bit um, last year, kind of the year before that. <laughs> and, um, I kind of took a break from posting. Uh, there was a lot more videos on my channel, but those um, I have put on private just because they don't line up with the new direction that I want my channel to go in. So there are still a couple cute videos up. There's one from Christmas last year with my family, which is one of my absolute favorites. And then there's also a video of finding out that I'm pregnant and telling our family and friends and finding out the gender. That one's a really cute video as well. So go check those out after this video if you want to. <laughs> um, they're super cute. They're super old, but... Um, hopefully no more breaks in the future so long intro but for today's video it's super important to me because um 2020 it's a year new year new decade a lot of people make new resolutions for the new year um i'm one of those people who kind of thinks you don't have to wait till a new year but it's also fun to wait and like use the new year as a guide to say this year I'm gonna do this and then you can say you started this year so that's what I'm doing with my channel <laughs> long-winded explanation but for today's video I am sharing with you my resolutions for 2020 I thought it was a super cute way to kick off my channel and it's the new year it's fun it's fun to see what other people are posting about it's fun to see um, what people want to accomplish in a year and then at the end of the video i'm also going to say a couple decade goals because it's the 20s and it's a new decade and i think it would be fun to see if the things i want to accomplish in the next 10 years can happen and are in place hopefully i'll watch this video in 10 years and see <laughs> oh i did want to mention that i did get this idea from a video of aspen ovards if you watched her thanksgiving day video um, they say where they think they're going to be in the next year, so I thought it would be cool to say my resolutions and come back next year and kind of make it like a tradition to watch the video, see if I accomplish those things, and then make the next re resolutions for the next year. So hit the red subscribe button to see next year if we've made it, if we accomplished all of our my resolutions or, or not. <laughs> so without any further ado because I think I've talked enough about explanations let's get into the resolutions the first thing I did want to mention before I say my resolutions I know I just said a million things but the main thing I want to say is I want these to be measurable so I want to be able to put like an invisible check mark next to these uh, resolutions or a check mark on the screen if I'm watching this next year hi me <laughs> Um, but I want to be able to like say check done I did it and then be proud of myself about it so um, these aren't gonna be like um, be happier or be healthier like I want to put things that will make me happier like did I do this to make myself happier this year did I do this to make myself healthier this year so that's where I'm going with that but the first thing that I want to accomplish in 2020 is I want to cook 90% of our meals at home. So there's, if you eat three meals a day, so breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and there's seven days a week, that would equal 21 meals. And 90% of 21 is 18.9, so we'll call it 19. Um, I want to cook 19 meals at home, which means two meals a week we could eat out. And that could be uh, date night if we wanted to go out and like have a fun like date uh, that could be if we're just too lazy to cook so we go out and get like fast food or just not cook at home <laughs> so that is my resolution for 2020 is I'm going to cook 90% of our meals at home which I think is pretty good like two meals out a week like that's doable you know that's like we probably won't even do that maybe one like maybe we order a pizza on a Friday night but or maybe go on date night on a Saturday night. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. I think that one should be probably the easiest one. Let's hope. Cook, Rachel, cook. <laughs> Number
number two has to do with probably the reason that you're here on my channel today is because this video is posted. <laughs> and so number two is to post one video a week for the entire year. So that sounds like a long time, like a long time commitment, but that's only 52 videos. Okay, that's a lot too, but <laughs> if you think about it, I am a stay-at-home mom. Um, I just had my son, he's three months old. Uh, he's napping right now, and he naps periodically throughout the day. Sometimes they last 10 minutes, sometimes they last two hours. So I have the time to sit down and record a video, and I have a lot to talk about now that I'm a new mom. So it's not that hard to like sit down and just talk and then record edit it and put it up so I want to or resolution I will be posting one video a week this one happened to go up on a Friday which is not ideal for me it's just with the new year being on Wednesday it was hard to get time to sit down and film and edit so every Thursday is what I'm shooting for for a new video and if I have more ideas or if I start getting more traction of viewers, then maybe I'll post twice a week or more. I don't know. Uh, but right now, it'll be a commitment of one day per week on Thursdays. My third resolution for 2020 is to work out three times a week. So this kind of goes along with what I was saying earlier in the video is I don't want to just say I'll be healthier. And I don't want to put a number on anything for losing weight because I would like to lose weight. But... I don't want to say I want to lose 20 pounds in 2020 or something similar along that or I don't want to lose like inches or go by size because everything is so different so I want to commit myself to working out three days a week because then I'll overall be healthier I'll have a healthier mental space I'll have a healthier hopefully body and I'll just be living or living a healthier life so we are committing to three days a week and if I go for an hour for three days a week, that's three hours a week. Like, I have three hours a week of Netflix. <laughs> Easy. Three hours a night. So, I am committing three days a week. It doesn't matter which days. They could be three days in a row. It could be three days spaced out. Um, three days a week, working out. I want to shoot for more, but baseline, three days. <laughs> okay, so for the next resolution is I will be going on one day night a month with my fiance um since we are new parents it is a little bit harder to go out just the two of us we do have to find a babysitter and make sure that he's all set and taken care of and then to get us ready and him ready and then bring him wherever he has to go it's a lot of work it's more exhausting than just staying home with him uh, but i do think it's super important for a relationship if we have one date night a month um i think that that's important. We do have our wedding plan for the end of the year, so it's kind of hard with all the planning and the saving and everything that comes along with that, but I do still think it's super important that we get out kid-free, we have decent conversations between the two of us, we're able to talk without having to worry about what's going on with Jace, is he okay, what's, let's do this, that, and the other. So one date night with just my fiance and I, a um, month. The next resolution I have for 2020 kind of goes along with the first one, but that is to have one date night a month as a family. So I believe that it's super important for Jace and my fiance and I to do things as a family that's not just at the house. Um, Jace and I are at home all day long and we find things to do, but it gets kind of monotonous and boring. Uh, so I want to make sure that we go out to like the zoo, the aquarium, to the movies, like I know that Jace isn't gonna really take it in for all that it is just yet, but to have those pictures and those memories I think are super important for us, and then when he's old enough, he'll be more apt to like it because he's known that, you know? Like when he is able to like start remembering things, he's gonna remember that we've done this and it's a routine. So one date night a month as a family. The last resolution that I have for 2020 is to go on one family vacation this year so that means out of town just something new scenery new everything so that could be a trip up north that could be a trip to california a trip to texas to go visit all of our friends um literally anything anything to get us out of the same hustle and bustle of phoenix so um that's a resolution i have for this year hopefully hopefully there's a family trip in july to california 
but who knows <laughs> we'll see um at least one this year it would be ideal to go on a couple but we're not you know we're not trying to go crazy and spend all this money to go on family vacations just so we can have a wedding at the end of the year <laughs> um but anyways those are my 2020 resolutions um let me know down below what some of your 2020 resolutions are. I would love to see if they line up at all, if they're similar, if they're completely different, what you want to accomplish, and then maybe you'll come back next year and see what you wrote and if you accomplished it. Now that we have talked about this upcoming year and what I want to accomplish in the year, let's talk about the decade. So for the next 10 years, I do have a lot of goals, a lot of things that I want to accomplish. A lot of them kind of this year, but I'm putting a cap on, not even a cap, I just wanna see if I can complete them in the next decade because these are things that I think um, in my late 20s to early 30s that I'm gonna to want to accomplish. So the first one is going to happen this year, but is to marry the love of my life. Um, that is happening at the end of the year, so that one will be crossed off the list this year. The next one that I want to accomplish would also be nice if it happened this year, but ideally, it, or realistically, it's probably going to happen next year, um, or even later, who knows, uh, is to buy a house. So we have lived in rentals our entire adult life, um, even most of my later childhood life we've uh, lived in rentals, so I would love to just like put roots down stay in a place forever, be able to paint the walls without having to worry about painting them back. Like, I don't want to worry about holes in the walls that we're going to have to all fill in and all that, so buy a house. The next one is have two to three more kids. So we do want a big family. Uh, Jace is our first, uh, but we want anywhere from three to four kids, maybe more, maybe less. I don't know. At this point, we're sticking around three to four. So two to three more kids will make our family complete. So the next thing that I want to do in the next 10 years is either one of two things. So I either want to, or probably both, pay off the car that I have now. Um, I just have a little five-seater car. It's a cute car. Love it. But it is a little bit too small. Like we can't have another kid in that car. Uh, the car seats are too big. It makes us have to push the front seats forward. So um, Connor or I are still sitting in the back with Jace because we can't both sit in the front when he's in the car with us. Uh, so I would like to actually trade in my car and then have that one paid off before the decade is over. The next thing that I want to do is own a business. I don't know which business, I don't know what kind, I just know that <laughs> I want to own one. I don't like working for anybody else. I really love the idea of being my own boss and being able to um, do something that I love. So. I don't necessarily know what that is just yet, but I'm hoping to figure it out and start a business around it. So the last thing that I want to accomplish in the next decade is going against everything that I said in the beginning of the video, because I said I wanted these things to be measurable, but the last thing is I really want to be able to look back on the last decade and say, be happy with my life. Like I want to be happy with who I am as a person. I want to be happy with the life that I've built with my fiance. I want to be happy with how I'm raising my kids, how I've treated other people, and the work that I've done. I want to be successful and passionate about something. I want to just overall be proud of myself. So that's the last thing that I am hoping to accomplish in the next decade. Um, leave some of yours below. I, I, I know I said for the 2020 resolution to leave those below, but I'm also curious of where you think you'll be in the next 10 years, because 10 years is a really long time. In 2010, or 2009, really, because that was the end of the last decade, um, I was in seventh grade. <laughs> I graduated um, elementary school in eighth grade, so 2010. So I was still a, a, a little child, and now, uh, 10 years later, I have my own place, and two dogs, and a fiance, and a baby, and things that I love, and just, it's so crazy the difference 10 years can make. So where do you think that you'll be? Let me know. But that is gonna be it for this video today. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching it if you've gotten to this point. Thank you for supporting me and being here for this new journey of YouTube-ness for me. <laughs> um, uh, next week's video is gonna be on Thursday, so stick around for that. 
uh, hit the red subscribe button if you want to be notified when I do post. It'll be in your little feed so that you can see it. But anyways, thanks again for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.